Hey y'all, happy Monday. So I promise we're finishing out wisdom. <laughs> I know we've been on that one for quite a while. Um, but it's been, it's been really good for me as daily reminders that he has the supply of wisdom for me for any situation. And not only does he have the supply, but the father's heart is to give me that wisdom of what I need right now in this life. And so I pray that that has been an encouragement to you as well. We are going to finish it out today, actually. <laughs> Good Lord willing in the creek don't rise. Um, we're moving into the time to refocus portion if you've been um, going along in our um, I Am book. And so we have talked in depth about all of the scriptures in the unfolding and themes and words that stick out to us and that he has wisdom available and that in Christ we have access to it, that we now, um, you know, Hebrews 4 tells us that we come boldly to the throne room of grace to obtain mercy and find that good help, that well-timed help coming just when we need it. And that applies to our wisdom as well in James where he says, if any of you lack what? Wisdom. Let him ask the giving God. And so, we can approach him in faith, knowing that he is a giving God, and that James tells us that he'll give wisdom to those who ask. So, in all of our days talking about I am wise and wisdom is available to us, do you see the necessity of knowing him, his words, and his voice? Do you see the importance of it? The wisdom of God confounds even those who the world would recognize as the smartest and brightest. Don't think that you aren't smart enough. If you have a relationship with the Father and you listen to the Holy Spirit, you have the opportunity for wisdom to manifest in and through you. Um, I do want to reread, probably, a verse from John chapter 10. I'm going to read it in the Passion Translation today. In about knowing and recognizing his voice. So in John 10, Jesus is talking and teaching, and he, he talks about the parable of the, the sheep and the good shepherd. Remember, he says, I'm the good shepherd. Um, so if we go to, um, let's just start in verse uh, three, and the sheep recognize the voice of the true shepherd, for he calls his own by name and leads them out, for they belong to him. And when he has brought all his sheep, he walks out ahead of them, and they will follow him, for they are familiar with his voice. But they will run away from strangers and never follow them, because they know it's the voice of a stranger." And so when we spend time with our Father, when we spend time in His Word, and we allow Holy Spirit to break open the Word with us, we know and recognize His voice. And I love this translation. It says, not only will they not follow the voice of a stranger, but they will run from it. And so when we're seeking wisdom, you know, there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. That's the voice of a stranger. And so when we're in this, and we're seeking and asking for wisdom, that we know the voice of our Father so well that we can discern the voice of a stranger and not follow. Um, you know the voice of your children, you know the voice of your mama or your husband, and if there was an impersonator, you know, trying to deceive you or mislead you into believing that they were the person that you know and love, you would recognize the difference in their voices. So are there areas in your life where your enemy has made you feel incapable, not smart enough for out of your league? Yes, probably with both hands here. <laughs> but remember, you are not operating in self anymore. The old self has been crucified with Christ, and now you live, move, and have your being in him. In and of ourselves, Satan is right. We're not enough. But apparently we need to remind him we are not by ourselves anymore. Let's pray. Father, thank you for making everything that Jesus has accessible to me. 
Help me, Holy Spirit, remember that I have the mind of Christ. There is no problem that is beyond his ability or understanding, and therefore there is no problem that is beyond my ability or understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, we'll pick up here tomorrow with I Am Victorious.